Okay, it's time for the big reveal. So, let's see what we're working with. I want to make sure you guys get the full effect. I think I'm going to start with the red because they have been drying the longest. Okay, I don't know what to expect. First time doing it. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, that came off really easy. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is so easy. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Let's see. All right, one little damaged spot that we will have to sand down. Maybe we'll do another pour on top of this. Don't know. All the glitter kind of like seeped down. I hoped it was on the sides and we definitely have some wobble so I think we are going to sand this all down and maybe do another pour on top, but I don't know if you can see in the video, there is a lot of depth going on in this bad boy. All right, let's see what else happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, so plus is it's totally coming off the plastic nice and easy. Again, this one's super pretty. I gotta do something about the lighting in here. Okay, let's see. Coming off nice and smooth, easy. Super rough edge again, and I don't like that at all. That looks shitty. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Let's see. So comes off that paper, plastic, easy. And the mold, it's just totally easy to get out of. Okay, so moving forward, I think we have to do something about this, more research, but again, so cool. Okay, they're totally rock solid now too. Oh, we got a problem here. Aha, not so much. Okay. All right, so the glitter border did not do good. This one has some wrinkles in the back. All right, let's keep going. Um, mm, that's the back. Don't love that either. Might have to do something with that. And, hmm. All right, the edges are definitely gonna take some work. We have a little bit of crack there, so not so great. So the mold is great for peeling off, but it is not so great. And maybe I did it not thick enough the first time, but what's happening is, I don't know if you can see this, inside of where I put the second layer left a bead mark, which is coming out on here which looks shitty and unfinished, so I don't like that. But again, the depth is there, the sparkle, the rock card is there. So, let's see what happens. All right. I know I keep saying it, but I just don't like the edges. So we'll see what I can do about those. One more. So cool. They do feel a little bit sticky still on the back. So I'm going to, I think now that these are all out of the mold, I'm going to let's see, just dry them upside down for a little bit so 
so that they can air out a little bit and harden up a little bit further. All right, that's what we got for today. We'll see, I'm gonna do something about those edges. All right, trying out the greens now. Again, pulling off of the plastic super easy, but the edges are all problems. So this one has a different type of glitter. Let's see. Okay, again, don't love it. Top's cool. Got some raised edges in there. It's really glassy, which I love. You see, like, almost, I don't know if you can see that, down into the center, which is cool. All right, so this edge, hmm, no, don't like it. And the bottom looks like just craziness, too. So, I'm gonna do some investigating and find out how to make these edges a little bit more smoother and hopefully the next batch, if I decide to make a next batch, um, or we'll see what happens when we sand them down and then maybe we'll paint them up on the edges. I don't know, sick. So cool though. Okay, onto the blue already. I don't know, we must have had either some air bubbles, I see. Actually, it might just be from the glass. This one's really cool though, and it's very sparkly. I don't know if you can really see how sparkly. And these are thinner, which I don't know if that makes a difference either. Sharp, jaggered edges. Something's got to be done. Don't know what to do. I know we keep saying it, but okay. So this one, hmm, it's didn't really harden all the way either. It's flexible. So either my resin measurement was off, or I used this really liquidy ink in the um, resin, and maybe that kind of counteracted with it. So. Mm, this part's a little bit better, but again, I don't like how it's all bleeding together. All right, live and learn, people. This one definitely could have used another coat because it's definitely raised, and I don't like, I don't know if you can see, yeah, um, really bumpy. Don't like it. I don't know, I may use these for something else, not coasters. Again, Ugh, some spillage there. This shit is awesome though because these are coming off super easy. Now if we could just figure out a way to make this smoother, we will be in business. And all this is is silicone out of a tube. Um, again, there's a lot of lines and bumps, but it is so dope on the color side. I don't know if you can really see it. I wish you could because it's so cool. But I don't like these ones at all. I don't like the way they came out. I like the colors. Yeah, this didn't cure properly. It's way too bendy. Whereas these, that shit's hot as a rock. You can't bend it at all. And also on these, I think I should have did another coat. It's this, you have a lot more depth. I don't know if you can see how to like look into it, kind of. And this one is very flat and bumpy. All right, got some work to do, some research. We'll see.